hey guys welcome to this tutorial series on java interview question so i have lots of java interview question important question so in my last video i have covered java immutable class so if you have not seen my last video just check it first so you can click on the crack java button here and for my channel you can just click on the java top interview questions okay so let's get started for this video so in my last video i have the introduction so i have explained the step to create immutable class and i have created a immutable class using eclipse so in this video i'm going to explain the real world use of immutable class so let's get started so for real world use we can use immutable class in map or set so as we know that immutable class cannot be modified so we can use immutable class as a key in collection like map or set so you generally see that uh, we use string class in the map or set as a key so we use that because that string class is a immutable class that's why we use so nobody can modify it so the key cannot be modified so uh, because string is used in many places like in a network connection in critical area also because it's a immutable that's why we use it so we can create our custom immutable class and we can use it into a um, into the map as a key but we need to override equal and hash code method to do that okay so let's talk about the advantage of immutable class so the state of immutable class object cannot be changed so they are thread safe yes definitely so we can use a immutable class in a thread safety and we don't need to uh, use any synchronizations any uh, thread safe logic to do that so the second advantage is immutable object are good as a map key and set element because they cannot be changed yes so the third advantage is immutable class provide more performance if used during multi-threading because we don't have to write any code to make immutable class thread safe because it's already thread safe yes definitely so multi-threading to increase the performance we can create many immutable class and we, our multi-threaded logic will be less okay so let's see the jdk implementation so we have all wrapper classes like integer boolean character white short long fl float double big decimal and big integer so the all these wrapper classes are immutable class and string is also immutable class in java so these are the some interview question that generally ask in the interview related to immutable class so the first question is what is a immutable class so that is the first introduction with that we have discussed second question is how to create an immutable class so uh, we have i have explained the five step to create it using eclipse so you can check it from my last video so the third question is immutable object are automatically thread safe true or false so that is a true so the fourth question is which classes in java are immutable so these are the classes that are immutable in java so the fifth question is what are the advantages of immutable class so these are the advantages of immutable class so that's all for the immutable class i think i've covered all the aspect of the immutable class so if you have any question if you have something a new question then you can write into the comment box so that's all for this video in my next video i will be covering other java important java interview question so thanks for watching see you next video bye bye